Hey, what's up guys? In episode number two of Walk Around, we're going to be checking out our 2010 Camprite camp trailer. Don't be shy, sure. we'll jump in and give us a hand. So with the setup of the camper we've got two poles on either side that clip in. And there's also a central pole that goes in. It's quite quick and easy to set up. So one of our favourite things about this camper is for an overnight stop, it takes literally five minutes to set up. Uh, another bonus is that none of the canvas touches the ground. Uh, we do have quite a big awning that comes off this side here. Uh, we only really set that up if we're going to be staying for four or five days or longer. Um, it's probably a good solid hour to do the full setup with the walls on the awning and everything like that. This is our kitchen setup. We've got a three burner Smev cooktop, all stainless steel, it's pretty handy. Uh, down here we've also got some drawers, we've got a couple of lights in this one. Uh, I've got all our cutlery in this other one, tea towel, a few other bits and pieces. And this one we've got some chopping boards and pots and plates and things like that. Um, up top here we've got our sink, we've got a 90 litre water tank all plumbed into a pump so all we've got to do is turn her on and we've got running water which is handy. The 
fridge that we have is a 60 litre Evercool model. That's a 30 litre fridge, 30 litre freezer. Works quite well. It uh, comes out on this slide system from inside the camper. We've also got this um, canvas waterproof cover that we got made up, just to keep a bit of the rain off. So the battery we have is uh, 125 amp hour. Um, works quite well. We're just running the one battery. We find with the solar, it's more than enough to keep the fridge and the few bits and pieces that we have running. So in this front storage compartment, we have our 12 volt electrical setup. So we've got our battery monitor, uh, we've got our charger, and we've also got all our switches where we can turn things on and off. Um, we've got a circuit breaker, and yeah, also our solar controller. This also gives you a display of how much um, charge you got in your battery, how much you're putting in, uh, the load as well. So above the 12 volt system, we have a handy firewood rack. You also notice we've got this yellow bar here. Now that unclips on that end and what it does is folds out onto the side of the camper and in high wind situations that just braces the wall. So the hard top on the camper that folds up and forms the side wall. On there we have our solar panel which we can take down and we have a 10 meter extension lead and we can run it out into the sun even if the camper's in the shade. Uh, below that we've got this um, box section here. In there we have all our poles for our awning. So both sides of the camper we've got this storage compartment that houses 20 litres of diesel. So combined with our two tanks in the car that gives us around the 1400-1450k range. So it's going to come in real handy for remote touring, um, places like Simpson Desert, things like that. So under the camper we have fully independent suspension and we're also running 10 inch electric brakes. The water tank sits at the back of the camper and helps to distribute the weight evenly. We've also got a couple of stabiliser bars at the back so if we're setting up for a long time and we're unhitching from the car then we'll set up the stabiliser bars. On the back of the cruiser we have a set of rock tamers which helps keep the rocks off the camper and we're also running a treg hitch which can swivel at 360 degrees. So in the camper we have a queen size bed which is up nice and high. Um, we get quite a good breeze coming through these windows. Uh, it's really good for summer, keeps you nice and cool. Uh, down below the bed we've got um, three storage compartments. To the right of the bed we have uh, a couple of drawers where we put most of our clothes, things like that. Uh, we've also got a chemical toilet. Um, some places these days you're actually required to have a chemical toilet, otherwise you're not allowed to stay there. So on the opposite side of the bed we have a couple of cushions that make up our couch. Below that we've got another three storage compartments. Thanks for checking out our camper guys. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for the bloopers section. And if you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below.
what's up guys in this episode of Hey, what's up guys in this episode of walk around no. Hey, what's up guys in this episode of Hey, what's up guys in this second episode of Walker 